applause here for Mike Ward. Thank you. Cheers, Mike. That is a hell of an accomplishment. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's try it. It might taste point. like Cheers, shit. guys. Two drink minimum. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Poseidon, who's not Big here. Cheers. Nice. Mm. If you soak a tampon in this and shove it in your ass, mm. no problem. You get super drunk. Oh, that's that nice. is good. Yeah, that's fucking super really sweet. good. Yeah. Like that's that easy lot. to drink. What is it made out of? Potatoes? It's Potatoes? No, it's actually a corn. Oh, yeah. Corn vodka? Damn. Fucking yeah. Fucking amazing. Yeah, I didn't, like, I know nothing about vodka, but I, I like, I well, I don't know how to make vodka, but I met, like, Wait, a, I a bunch of distill... <laughs> oh, no. So Josh, <laughs> Josh is literally oh. about to throw up. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and I like, no, <laughs> let, let's keep it like that. Uh, 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 this is amazing <laughs> that the show started. <laughs> Pantels is just speaking <laughs> like he's, he's screaming he's the, at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? What a great promo! Well, I thought you were gonna move it right away. <laughs> no, I was thinking vodka. Because oh, you don't have the mic. <laughs> no, no, you gotta be comfortable. So for the people, the yeah, people, Mike, I'll shut this out for you. <laughs> so the people doing audio. For the people doing audio, welcome to Drink Minimum. This episode is brought to you by Ward Vodka. Hey. Mike Ward's brand new vodka. It's premium vodka. It's delicious. You can get it at the SAQ. Yeah. And if you're in Alberta, you can order it off the SAQ. Yeah, exactly. And I had like uh, I had a bunch of um, distilleries reach out because I said as a joke that I should have my own vodka. And then I had like seven uh, different companies reach out. I'm, I met all of them, yeah. tasted a bunch of vodkas. I really liked the company I went with. Uh, the branding I, is stellar as I, well. I told them what I wanted, and it's the memory maker. It's like to, it's going to build memories that you're going to forget the uh, next day. I love that. So, uh, and uh, like, I was like, I, I don't want it to taste like anything because good vodka yeah. is supposed to taste like nothing. So you can drink it at work. So you can drink it at work, exactly. It, it it's, is it's really good. It's made for the bus drivers. <laughs> it is so <laughs> good, dude. It's for school bus drivers. <laughs> yeah, this this definitely tastes like it makes you want to do cocaine. I don't think I've ever had vodka good. straight. No, I don't yeah. do good, but it makes me want. And it. and oh, it's no. uh, like I it's it's fairly cheap. Like it's the same price as like the like iceberg vodka. Like it's mm. it's the low. Like in Quebec, it's going to be like twenty. I think twenty seven or twenty eight bucks sick. tax in. It most, is affordable. It, most guys would have went the other way. This is my new high end bullshit vodka. Yeah, yeah. You're a man of the people. Yeah. This is the vodka everyone can afford, everyone can enjoy, and everyone can fucking get blackout on. I'm going after the the people that that are like everyday drinkers. Yeah. Because if you sell like a eighty bottle, a eighty dollar bottle of vodka, you're going to sell one, and then they'll never buy. They'll again. shelf it. My Bottle, people are going to buy every other day. <laughs> Mike's going for the <laughs> lucrative <laughs> Native American I'm market. I'm going <laughs> for the fucking pawn shop, people. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah. How much is that bottle? It's, yeah. it's an old DVD player. Yeah, you know your high yeah, school yeah, teacher. Yeah, yeah. I, this smells like my high school teacher's breath. That's uh, that's this kind of vodka, you know? You know, he was on the sauce. It's so cool having like oh, your own vodka. So I had crazy. I had a, um, my math teacher in grade 10. He used to drink a lot. Like he, his name was Mr. Copeland. He used to hide a bottle of vodka in his desk, and he'd we'd we'd make fun of him because he smelled like booze. And there was this kid in my class that was a little disabled, like not fully disabled, but what just, part of him? He he had problems. Like he he didn't he he, he wasn't good at like uh, staying up. Like he didn't <laughs> he didn't have good balance. So he'd be like. Just getting off the sidewalk, he'd have to look at the street and kind of, and then he'd go like, oh, and then he'd go down. <laughs> so going down the stairs, he'd have to like hold on to the railing and kind of, it was slow. But then when he'd walk, he was good. But just going up and down well, stairs. Maybe he, he had like the horrible. water in his yeah, ears or something. Yeah, probably something like that. <laughs> or vodka. And then. Yeah. Uh, he had <laughs> vodka in his soul. <laughs> vodka in his ears. So he was like, he's in class and he used to be like, he, he made fun of Mr. Copeland for being an alcoholic. Mr. Copeland got fucking pissed. He sent him to the principal's office. So this guy's name was Neil. He gets out of the class, and then he's he's like, we're f going, Neil is the best. <laughs> and then he's at the top of the stairs waiting to go down. Mr. Copeland is pissed. He follows him, and he pushed him down the Get stairs. Get the fuck out of here. So he went, he went from kind of disabled to fully disabled. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah. funny because I was Neil, the kid's name. Yeah. I was a Neil fan until the end of the story. Yeah. I became a Mr. Copeland yeah. fan. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a Mr. Copeland trick. <laughs> well, oh my God, that's amazing. Just pushed him down the stairs like, you fucking retard. <laughs> and then did he lose his job? Yeah, yeah. He, I never saw Mr. Copeland again. That's, I wonder what he's up to. 
Or Neil. I don't know. Yeah. Neil. Yeah, poor Neil. <laughs> Neil. I never saw Neil again either. <laughs> like, I, I know he didn't die. But I don't, I don't have any Neil-related yeah. stories. He's, oh, that's he's homeschooled now. Yeah. He can't get out of bed. <laughs> fuck, that's terrible. It was so probably worth it, though. He's probably <laughs> like, because he was like, he liked to fuck around with the teachers. So he was probably like, I look cool until yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Also, he was a bit of a badass. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was like a Do you cool think the guy. teacher just thought he was making fun of him because he was like walking around <laughs> yeah. like this? He was like, well, oh, you yeah. still making fun of me, Neil? <laughs> he was like, <laughs> down the stairs you he goes. You think I walked like that because I'm drunk? <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. He just tipped him over the head and he's like, fuck you, Neil. You, you got to cut this shit up. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> That's fucking insane. Uh, it's funny. I, I, I remember we didn't have in high school that many uh, handicapped kids. Mm. Mm-hmm. There was one dude in elementary school. And I've asked about him to someone there. I don't know what the fuck happened to him. You know, when you're young in elementary, you don't really know what retarded is or anything like that. No, you know. But I remember. No, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember his thing was because he was he would just he'd walk funny. He'd walk kind of like he's underwater, and then he would just yell stuff out. Like, nah, nah, and yeah, talk like that's that. retarded. And well, the thing is, everyone would tell me the reason why we talk like is because he was half French. <laughs> so, <laughs> like me yeah so okay. I, yeah <laughs> so oh. <laughs> so when we were young it's just like no no no. it's just the way his speech is he has an accent because he's half french and i remember being a kid and being thinking you know, the people that are <laughs> i never want to go to france no no you know when you're a kid and you start realizing like santa's not real that, that okay. i was like that's not like i've seen french people and they're not yeah. All retarded. yeah yeah that's not that's nothing with being french like no no he doesn't he doesn't he's not weird he's not he doesn't have any problems he's just half french and i was like french people are like you yeah, yeah. you know down the stairs and shit like Some that. Of them are. but yeah, i remember yeah. was. they said he was half french and then like i think in grade 2 or three, he just disappeared. They changed him to school probably because they mm. had to put him in. Because this was school they where put him down. they can't handle. <laughs> they put him down because that was a school that they couldn't handle regular kids. I Imagine had, uh, them handling a kid with mental problems. Yeah, I as a kid, I remember thinking that all people with Down syndrome were related. Yeah, you told oh, me oh, this. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they all look alike. I'd go to a same. water park and there was 12 of them together. And I was like, fuck, I keep oh, yeah. seeing this family here. I thought they were yeah. part of the same family. Like, no one told me. No one, because everyone's kind of like, don't look, don't stare. By the way, it's not crazy, though. And that no, family, you're like, fuck, they have the best life. They do everywhere Whenever doing fun. Them, they don't yeah. wait in line. Nope. They're always <laughs> happy. <laughs> They're always happy. <laughs> one of them's always yeah. jacking it. Always touching themselves. Super happy. I remember we had this girl in her class that had outbreaks like, you know, Verbal Without ones, it, right? yeah, yeah. And, and we were all just like, oh, that's just Sarah. Like, no one really paid much mind. Was it Tourette's? I, m- I might have been something like that. And we literally all didn't care. We're like, oh, that's just how she is. One day, big outbreak. We don't even pick up our pencils. We're just carrying on, right? Teacher said, okay, you got to go with so and so down, whatever, pr- quiet time, whatever. And then uh, the teacher goes, oh, Sarah is missing a piece of her brain. You have to forgive <laughs> her, right? And we never treated her differently before that. But when she came back, we're all like, she's missing a piece of her brain. That's and crazy. So the, this teacher made us all <laughs> turn against her. So for the rest of the year, we're like, she's fucking different. And we were totally fine oh. with it before. And I never forget oh, that switch. Oh, because yeah. she told you. Because we're like, because kids, you don't know. You're like, oh, yeah, how are you how missing yeah. half of your brain? And yeah. then now we're like, yeah. <laughs> Wes is like, finally, now I got a chance to fuck her. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Now she might put out. Right? By the, by the word vodka, no problem. We we had a kid in my school. His name was Andy, and he was a uh, he had this uh, uh, a brain tumor, and at first it was like a little brain tumor, and then it was like really big, and it used to kind of hang down. Whoa. Is that in his a brain? Little? If it comes out, isn't well, it out the skull like a head? head. <laughs> it was point. probably on his. Yeah, it was probably. Can you not get rid of that? He's yeah, just extra yeah, smart. Yeah, it was now. just on his head. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but he he used to come to school like he wasn't actually in school. He was the librarian's son. And so he used to just come to school with her. And then uh, the, the mother was afraid, the librarian was afraid that we were going to make fun of him because he had a fucking, uh, uh, like a yeah. fucking ball sack yeah. on his face. So she had a thing <laughs> that whoever was uh, uh, Andy's best friend at the end of the year would get a hundred bucks. So we used to all compete to be Genius. his best friend. That's fucking yeah, yeah. smart. I would, I, everyone was so nice. I would us. cradle his, 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 his head ball. Yeah. Friendship is Amazing. hilarious. Yeah. Fucking plan. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like something Russia would yeah. do. Uh, there was, we had a kid. This, we, had, <laughs> we had the opposite experience. We had a kid named Dona. That and was his said, name. Whoever beats him up gets 100 bucks. And, no, it's, he was Dona. He, Dona. It, okay. it was in New Brunswick. I was in New Brunswick. Okay. It was in grade six. And uh, he was brought into our class like mid semester, and he was like larger and taller than, but like 
just a little like you know a little off or whatever like socially and we're we were told like hey dona is going to come to our class and we're going to set an example for the rest of the school board showing that we're against like bullying and everything and like we're gonna and so we treated dona as if he was retarded, <laughs> but he wasn't. <laughs> but nobody told us that he wasn't. Oh, oh he ah, was so retarded. No, he was just he was like just big. Yeah, big just and people nice. didn't like him. Okay. He was just like socially like not great at conversation. Oh. Some people are we just unlikable. Like, uh, we were all like, "Don't know. Do you want to come play? You know, sports?" And he's like, "Oh." Uh, no, I'm okay. Like, we're like, oh, come on, Dona. And we were like antagonizing this guy because we thought he was retarded and they didn't tell us he wasn't. And then, yeah, we found out when he left because we saw him in another school when we went to a, a field trip and he was just doing just fine. He probably thought you guys were all retarded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm in a retarded school. Yeah. yeah. It was a sick joke. Yeah, all right, guys. No. That's probably why he's not good socially. Because everyone, like, if everyone was like, <laughs> treating him like hey, really he's retarded. Hello, Chris. <laughs> good. Oh, that's exactly what I thought. That's a nice hat. <laughs> you didn't shit yourself yeah, today. He didn't feel oh. better. He was like, oh, man, he's, I know this is just because they think I'm retarded. He smells Yo, so good. Our good buddy Eli, his, his one son is autistic. And I went over to his house, and and I and he's like, just wait here in the kitchen. And his sons are coloring, right? So I'm talking to him, and I'm just being nice, but I'm being extra nice because he's autistic. And then I meet the autistic son about ten minutes later. Oh. <laughs> this one kid is looking at me. Like, he's super normal. I, th I thought he was looking at me like just because like why is my dad's weird friend even talking to me? He's want to fuck me? Yeah, was but no, to it was like, and you're like, like, oh, you oh. like drawing? I I used Literally, to like drawing I was too. Doing that and I was very good at drawing birds. Oh, you like fuck birds? Man. And then he's like, oh, shit, I fucked the kid yeah. that can't keep a secret. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn. They're going to believe that one. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Fuck. This vodka brings out the worst in me. Did I, t I tell you, I, I grew up with a guy who um, <laughs> he his parents didn't know that he was deaf. At, like, he was severely deaf. Uh, and they thought he was retarded because they would ask him stuff. And he'd be like, eh? Eh? <laughs> so they put him in a school for retarded people. Oh no! So he was there till like grade six. How bad was the doctor? Yeah, and everyone Why thought. You bring your retarded <laughs> son to the doctor. But that's the thing. Everyone thought this was back in the day. He's like, uh, he must be in his forties now. We should doctor smoke. Early forties. So he was older than me. And back in the day, isn't that, isn't long, that long ago? ago. Yeah. So they put him in a school for retarded kids. So he was in the school to like grade six, where everyone thought he was retarded. And until finally he got a hearing aid. Oh. But he would have a lot of like these retard tendencies because he got used to being with those people, but he wasn't retarded. Yeah. So his family was treat everyone treated him like a retarded person till that. So he got used to that kind of, and then he got a hearing aid so he could hear. And everyone was still being weird to him, mm. and he stayed kind and of. And it must be weird when you get the hearing aid because the first thing you hear is, "Look at that retard." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 okay, so he wasn't retarded, and they put him in a retarded don't get school. Close, don't get too he close had to. He was there with kids that were like, "No," nah, 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 and he's like, "I, I what?" Yeah. What? It was yeah. crazy. And we just turned this thing right back off. Well, yeah. like no, he didn't have the hearing aid for a while. So he was there and he, they would ask him stuff like, hey, can you do this? And he'd be like, eh? He'd, he'd like, and they're like, oh, he's a retard. That's like my oh, like the, the place where I put my dad when uh, when he left the apartment and went into an old folks home. I shouldn't be Cause, laughing. Because he was uh, like, <laughs> my dad wanted to stay in a home that was just in, for English people. Yeah. And he told me there, there are two homes in the Quebec City area. I visit one. It's a fucking shithole. It's like a CLSC where nah. a bunch of people died. So I'm like, fuck it. We're going to the other place. And he's like, the other place has good food. And I know a bunch of people there. So I, I fucking sign him in, rent him a room. And then... Like two weeks in, I realized it's a place for people with uh, with Alzheimer's. Well. So everyone has dementia or mm. Alzheimer's except for my dad. Oh wow! So my dad he, is the only. He's like, a god he, among he men. He has five <laughs> friends there that don't remember who he is, and he keeps giving the same joke so, every day. Like this guy's hilarious. Yeah. Amazing. He's yeah. slaying, dude. And then he's like, so he like, and people are. It was so fucking weird. Whenever I'd go see him, there was this one guy. I didn't know if the guy was 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 just. Like brain dead or, or gay, cause he just stare at like like my dad would be watching TV. So if you're looking that way, pretend to be my dad. He'd just be like, Oh God, <laughs> just looking at him, just oh. looking at him. And then like whenever someone in new would come in, he'd look at you and go, "You're very handsome." Oh no! <laughs> and the, but he'd say that wow. to everyone, you even if they weren't. So Diddy was staying with him. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, dude, you know the uh, on the way back from my flight, the TSA said something fucking weird. So I'm there with my wife. She was in front of me. And he's looking at her password. He says her name. He looks at her. I'm right there. He's like, you're very pretty. Nice. Get the fuck. I swear to God. My That's wife's like, weird. She's like, it's like, said this? She's like it's thank you. Yeah. And then I'm looking at the guy. I go, what about me? 
You know, like I give uh, him, and he says my name. He doesn't catch. I guess because different names. He's like okay, but he keeps staring at my uh, wife. It was such a weird thing to say that at the. You're very pretty. Uh, that's weird. Like, yeah, yeah. He's shooting pa- shot. Yeah, he's, shot, <laughs> he's, shot. Like, he's got to see a lot. Like that's a compliment because like yeah, how many fucking passports you looking yeah. at, dude? And he obviously yeah. he doesn't find you threatening at all. Yeah, at all, <laughs> so. at all. I, don't, I tower <laughs> like, over him. He's like, fuck this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, not a but threat. That's the best place to hit on someone's <laughs> wife, though. Yeah, I you, can't do you shit. You can't do shit. I'll, again, if I'll get arrested. If you fucking yell at him, you're going to jail. That is true. You could probably he probably get away with like fingering your girlfriend. What did he say? Okay, he did. We're gonna search. Funny enough, we're gonna. Search both of you. Uh, you guys search him. I'm gonna yeah. search the lady. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll gonna, see you. I promise you. If he I'm said, gonna search her asshole real quick. Yeah. If he said this to every other wife in line and then got yours and didn't say it, how would you? Feel You'd that, feel very right? differently. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, he might just be a fucking. With no, he wasn't saying yeah. it to anyone. He was being very just like rude to everyone except for her. He was even weird with me. He was only not rude to I'm my wife. Sorry, your wife's hot. No, yeah. that's so a, sorry. That's what I'm real. saying is normally you don't say shit like that. That's true. That's true. Mm. But that's a TSA. It's flattering. Oh, it's good I, to hear. I, but he didn't say it to me. Who is it? It was. Uh, uh, I almost missed my flight back. By the way, I, oh, I, for the first time ever, I ran. <laughs> you like, I actually come? ran, and they were yelling. They're like, "There's still two fucking people," and they were like, "Get to the, get to the gate, get Whoa. to the gate." I was like, "Wow, I'm like fucking uh, Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone." It sucks because you get to you get in your and seat, you're sweating, panting. Yeah, exactly. yeah, people were like, <sighs> "We should have been gone by now." Yeah, yeah, people were mad, and we. But the reason was because Air Can decided for the first time ever to leave ten minutes early. These people have this never left. Chris, right? They've yeah. never left on yeah, time in their yeah. fucking life. I got told yeah. that today face. we have to leave early. Yeah, I ran. Little, oh I got to God. the gate. Gate was open. Right. Guy was there, and I'm like, ah, made it. You made it. Wes is on the flight. I'm texting him. I'm like, hey, Wes. <laughs> they told me to board. They're like, get on there. If he yeah. makes it, he makes it. And I'm like, ah, oh, he made it. And yeah, like, and, I, and then he's like, uh, I just closed the flight. I'm like, doors open. You're not on the flight yet. I'll get on with you. And he's like, no, just closed it. Sorry, we closed it early. I was like, we'll reopen it. No, can't reopen it. I just closed it early. I'm like, but everyone. Why, why are you adding the early not part? on the flight? Yeah. Why would you close? Why it? would you close it early? Well, we just closed it early, and then he closed the door, and he goes like, he's inside, sorry. and he goes, sorry, sorry. What an asshole! He he's already inside. I'm like, and West, I'm like, sorry, West, and West is on that plane. And I had to wait for the next. I one. was doing the math. I'm like, there's no way he's got four minutes. Yeah. And then the door closes. 15 minutes before the plane backs up. Oh yeah, we <laughs> so we, we left on time. Yeah. We didn't leave they, early. I hate that they treat. Planes, like it's a fucking like war zone or something yeah. that everybody has to be aware of all the rules. I I'm hate like, being told like, I'm a criminal when I get there. It's a fucking bus, dude. Yeah. Calm take down. off your shoes. Like, take Jesus off. Like, go, go, fuck yourself. Why they, am I a criminal? No, but like the no people one who work there. Those fucking towers in New yeah. York, anyway. That's no, right. they yeah. did it. <laughs> That's right. Nice did you did you see what happened with the, the Ireland portals? Thing? So they got a portal in New York and in Dublin. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And wow. then like the people in Dublin are just putting up uh, photos on their phone of the twin towers burning. Oh really? <laughs> what? Oh, my as a, God. as a fucking farce. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so so they shut them down. <laughs> oh, is that why they shut it down? Yeah, because yeah, people amazing. just show up and memes. do stupid shit again. Oh, Obviously, yeah. Irish people are. Shut it down because the chick flashed her tits. Oh, that's why would you in, shut in, that in, down? In Dublin or was no, it no, tell us his wife? <laughs> why would you shut that down? But why uh, would you shut that down? It's just a portal. You're allowed to do that. I saw yeah. a chick, a uh, uh, Quebecois chick, that she met a dude through that. He was in Dublin. She was in New York. And then they, they were, they, he like was doing his phone number. She texted him. And then she she was they like, I'm meeting him this week. So Whoa. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so I she's going to get murdered. Yeah, I was about to say, what <laughs> if she gets murdered? murdered. Yeah. That's how they caught the guy nibbling on the kid's ear. Oh, did they catch him? I don't know if they What happened to that nib- It's still you know, an ongoing story, I think. How is that an ongoing story? It's still ongoing. They found the guy, but everybody's like, we're not sure I've if it's the guy. It it's a guy literally, like, uh, during some type of show that was on TV, in the background, there's a there's a child, like a 12-year-old boy, and there's a man behind him, presumably his father, uh, uh, nibbling on his ear, being like... Yeah, it's just a dude being a cool dude. Suckling on his ear, dude. As what do you have against actor? cool dudes? As no, like, no, no, no. It's, it's like a live show. Yeah, oh. yeah, and he's like, he's like, you're going like to get it later. America. Like, that, well, like, we don't I'm know that he said that, Chris. Because like, you're, yeah. you're adding that. You're adding that, Chris. No, no, we don't know that he said that. biting... Guy Weird. biting. How do you guys ear? all know this and I don't know this? Because we're all, we're all like up to date with our sexy you news. You don't Google guy biting <laughs> child. <laughs> look at, look at, look at. All right, look at. Right here. If you haven't seen, have you seen this, Josh? Yeah. Look oh at. my. So wait, wait, wait. He's like, God. look over there, and then look. And then, oh hi, hi, and he's all goofy oh after. Oh my god. Yeah, it's super weird, dude. 
Anyways, so I'm the only one I with heart. I would rather mouth kiss my dad. Yeah. Than yeah. Later, dude. <laughs> Anyways, that's a video of Tom Brady. Yeah, and his son. exactly. Uh, it is kind of it is kind of weird. It is weird to see that on. Really not fine. I bet you just the dad. He's he's done nothing wrong. He's just a weirdo. He's just a little too touchy. Mm. Well, but that's the kid too is like. I want to remember the name of this. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of it joke is, Chris and I like. It is fucking sick, though. <laughs> it is sick to see your name on a bottle That's of vodka, dude. Come on. Mean. No one else laughs at that kind of shit. Yeah, I love it so it. much. Yeah, put his face in so you don't forget the name. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a podcast. <laughs> and don't don't put it online before it comes out. Yeah, we won't. Uh, we won't. I'll well, take, I'll take I it down right it. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's next week. Yeah, uh, it's when this comes out, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That's why he did it like that. He sm- he knows yeah. what That's crazy. A marketing Our, genius. Are you supplying the bars where you're going to be performing? Oh, at? he better. Uh, yeah, well, like here, uh, the uh, we, we ordered. I, well, I told Luke where I asked yeah. Luke to order some. Yeah. So uh, And then we're going to try to get the theaters to. Yeah, to everywhere order. you go, yeah, yeah. for sure. I, it's going to be in my rider. I yeah. changed it oh, already in my rider. That's and great. It has to be Ward 5. That's so crazy. Yeah. And they're going to think it's a oh, joke. So if they don't cool. know, they're going to be like, what is he talking that's about? That's so crazy, cool. man. It's so cool, dude. No one's ever flex. done that. There's no comic that's like, yeah, when I get there in my writer, you have to have my vodka. There actually is a few. <laughs> like, what, yeah, what are you talking about? I was like, yeah, go to the liquor store. <laughs> there actually is. Uh, Tom so Secura, yeah, yeah. uh, Burke Kreischer. Yeah. Uh, Apart from those two. Uh, uh, White, Mark Sikula, Norman, uh, Ron White. Norman has his own yeah, vodka? They got, no, they got their own. Um, they got a bourbon. Yeah. So they don't have their own vodka. They got a bourbon. <laughs> so why are you talking? They don't have their own vodka. Ron White has tequila. Yeah, yeah. They, most of them have tequila. All the famous comics have their own drinks. So That's true. That's what we're saying. I was offered to be the face of a bubbly water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? They haven't gone back to me yet, though. They haven't See, gone back to me that's yet. Exactly they're still, what I was they're still working on bubbly water. I would do bubbly water. Uh, I think bubbly it water makes sense. Be, be sick. Yeah. The first company that approached me was for absinthe. Oh, Ooh. absinthe? Yeah. Yeah, which is weird because I don't drink that. Yeah. Like, mm. I've had it once and I didn't like it. Yeah. yeah. Don't hit me up with absinthe because I'll be like, I've never touched okay. it. I will put my face all over it. I, I drank absinthe. Go to drink. Vodka. It's vodka. It's vodka. That, that, now. It's now. No, it's, it's always been vodka. Vodka. Diet Coke been vodka. vodka. Pol- uh, you used to drink yeah. like polar, uh, the fucking yeah, I always polar drank vodka. Shitty vodka yeah. Like polar ice. And polar ice. ice and yeah. That's why I wanted to go like the same yep. level price as point. them. Yeah. I want to be the same price as Smirnoff, but not get it, hangovers. Not shit, yeah. And then, uh, so we're going to do like when we launch it. I'm going to have videos that I'm going to make drinks, like mixed drinks, but it's always going to be like basic shit like this. Uh, and you co- mix it with your <laughs> finger. Like, That's so good. Is there ever, is there a way to make, uh, this might be stupid, I don't know. Is there uh, undiscovered alcohols that we could be drinking? You know what I mean? They always make new drugs and shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, for sure. Can we but ferment something else now and drink Apparently it? Right. one thing I found out, like, uh, like pretty much all alcohols sold in Canada it's the same base. Mm. So they take the same, like they're, they're al- almost all, they all start off as uh, vodka and then they add a couple of things and oh. turn it into rum. Really? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Everything is, everything is based and I think the same thing. Like even if you look at like schnapps. Potatoes or corn. For schnapps yeah. in Germany is like, uh, you can have pear schnapps, uh, berry schnapps. Is it schnapps, schnapps or schnapps? Schna- it's definitely schnapps. schnapps. Yeah. Schnapps. Definitely schnapps. Yeah, schnapps. I say schnapps, too. You can say schnapps But it's in probably because uh, I've heard, only heard it in French. Yeah. And oh, in, in New yeah. Zealand, they say schnips, for sure. Like, I'll it's for schnips. sure it's something different. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to correct me in every language, yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> schnapps. Yeah, schnapps. Because uh, I only know it as schnapps. Yeah, yeah you can say schnapps. You American. Say, you probably say vaz, too. What's vaz? Or aunt. <laughs> vaz and aunt. Vase and Tomato. aunt. Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> You say tomato? No, I say tomato. So then why don't you say schnapps? I say schnapps. Schnapps. Not I think we're schnapps. all I say tomato. saying it exactly the yeah. same yeah. way. For real. Uh, just like, I'm like, this shit is good. Yeah. <laughs> It'll make you fight with your friends. <laughs> it's not schnapps. It's, it's not schnapps. I'm saying schnapps. 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 I know you said schnapps. Schnapps. I had a fucking, oh. I used to have a joke about Pete schnapps in one of my shows. And one night I got back to my house. And someone had left a, a, a half-empty bottle of peach schnapps on my balcony, like on my front porch. Oh, nice. And I was like, I, I got to move. 
Like the, it's not even like a full. Like if it was a full bottle, you're like, I'm glad that oh, was this, your first thought. <laughs> this is nice. No, but like a full bottle, you're like, yeah. this is nice. Yeah. But you're like, okay, this fucking weirdo knows where I live. Oh. Yeah. And now he's giving me shit that he could have peed in. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I finished yeah. half the rest for yeah. you, bro. Yeah. yeah. Imagine thinking like, mm, he's gonna enjoy this. So <laughs> yeah. This is I, a good move. I had move. a guy come to my house once. I I told my ex wife. If anyone rings like the doorbell and they're asking for me, d I I don't want to see anyone. But for some reason, whenever it's uh it's um, veterans, I always go see them. Like people that I met in Afghanistan. Yeah. So this guy is like, like the he, Taliban. He, he rings the doorbell exactly. I'm like if, if he's kind of brown, got a beard. He's got a big vest on. If he's wearing pajamas. <laughs> he doesn't like that you're reading. <laughs> yeah, if he finds it problematic that a lady is yeah. showing her whore face. Yeah. When he let him in. It. Schnapps. Yeah, let him in. He's one of ours. <laughs> but a guy rings the doorbell and then I so I hear and he's like, "Yeah, is Mike here?" And then she's like, "Do you know him?" And he's like, "No, I just want to give him. Uh, he had a bottle. He wanted to give me." And and she's like, no, he's not. He's not here. And he's like, OK, no, because I know he went to Afghanistan and I'm uh, I was in the army and blah, blah, blah. So then I go and I'm like, oh, fuck, did we meet in Afghanistan? And he's like, I've never been. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, nice. What? Then why are you Stolen talking valor. about Afghanistan? And he goes, no, because I, I joined the army for a while and I, it didn't work out. <laughs> and I and I'm like, OK, all right. So why are you fucking bringing up? Why are you freaking oh. hey, out? Worked. Stolen Valor. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. I'll tell you, man. So now if you're listening, that's how you get to If Mike. you want to meet Mike, do. just say you were in Afghanistan, Pretend. show up with a half yeah. bottle of piss, and he'll yeah. let you right into his own house. <laughs> and he had told me, like, he, he was a nice guy, but too intense. He was like, I, I know that you're a big Harley guy, so uh, I have two Harley Davidsons. If you want one, you can have it. Ooh. And I'm like, I don't, I don't fucking know how to drive a motorcycle. You're a big yeah. Harley guy. Why are you lying? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not Ooh. a... I'm, like I know nothing about. He has that. a Hell's Angels vest on, yeah. which is my. Yeah. The 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 bottle. It was like I made this. I made this out of hand and blown. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so he it was some sort of wine made out of some flour. And I'm like, how much? Like, well, what's the alcohol content? Is it like fifteen percent, twenty? I don't know. He goes, I don't know. I like some like the, between thirty and eighty. And I was like, okay. And then I'm it was like, this. you're gonna get fucked up though. And I was like, wow. okay, yeah. I'm not drinking like moonshine. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's yeah, just you weird. Should moonshine. make you go blind after. Yeah, yeah. like, hey man, cook me a steak made from your thigh. Yeah. Challenge yeah. this guy's allegiance. Yeah. Let's see what he'll do. Right? It is weird <laughs> to offer someone a motorcycle that to be like, yeah. I got an extra motorcycle. That's like, ooh. Yeah. and then like I I just uh, kind of brushed him off, and then my neighbor was like, hey, uh, uh, I saw a guy at the store. He said. Uh, when you want to go pick up the motorcycle, you can go. And what? I was like, what? I told him I don't fucking want the motorcycle. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, very weird. Yeah. But it's, it's a good, it's a good, like, it's an easy life. Yeah. Kind don't of you weird. hate when people offer you motorcycles and yeah. free drinks and yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you ever had yeah. moonshine? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, one time, uh, this is the thing, by the way, now I don't think people are going to get away with this anymore because everything's documented, people complain. But when I first got into video game testing, I worked for a company in the Sun Life building called VMC at the time. Mm. There was a guy who was like a manager there. He was this uh, Sri Lankan guy. It was a bit of a weird... I think he got fired because there was fucking prostitutes in the building uh, at night because he had access. Progressive of you to not say Indian. No, he was Sri Lankan. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm oh, he may have been Indian. Maybe I'm making a mistake, but nope. I remember him being Sri Lankan. <laughs> so anyways, so he one night I was working. It was when my buddy Milton used to work with me there. And it was a Friday or a Saturday night. We were doing overtime. And we were like, the last people there was close to midnight. And there was a security guard. It was this big black guy, super cool guy at the time. And the Sri Lankan guy comes and he goes, hey, come into the meeting room with us. So we go in the meeting room. It's me, my buddy Milton, the security guard, and him, the Sri Lankan guy. And he's like, I got something for you boys. We're all going to drink. And he puts it on the table. And it's like a, it's not like a bottle that you could buy. It's like a bottle from home. <laughs> yeah. okay. And it was just clear. It clear. was clear like this. Clear liquid. Yeah, it was just clear liquid. And I was like, what is this? And he goes, moonshine. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is. As if that's supposed to like. Training. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, nice. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, no, Fine, come on, yeah. drink it. Have a shot. And I didn't, you know, it's clear. So I, it was like a regular cup, you know? Uh, Bro, it goes in my mouth. I thought it was like battery acid or something. Yeah. Like it, it was insane. It was yeah, like, it's dark. This is yeah. gasoline. Yeah. What the fuck are you giving me? It can get you blind. It can get you blind. That yeah. shit. Yeah, if you're and not then careful. We left and he stayed with the security guard. They just started, they were pounding that shit back all night. Hmm. Uh. Yep. Not uh, not recommended. No, he got fired. That's fine. But no. not because of that. He got fired because he was picking up, because he would go down the Sunlight Building and in front of um, Peel Street, 
right across the street, like there's Mansfield and, Pe- yeah, and yeah. On Peel. He would go pick up like wayward uh, f- f- um, park hookers yeah. at night. The chicks that you can attract with, hey, do you want to drink yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, lady. Uh, 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 yeah, it's like a Tupperware bottle. Uh, You're like, you want some? He'd bring him back up, and then there's like, there's no beds or anything, but there's just bunch of like rooms with cages with all like con- video game consoles and all that shit so apparently one night he forgot because he, he stopped living I think after a while he just signed away his lease and he, and he lived was, there it, and no one knew he would just shower in the building and shit uh, so then one night what I happened guess if you're banging chicks that live in a park <laughs> You living in a like a, a server room? Pretty Doesn't upscale. You're like, yeah. damn, I'm like... I pretty, made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what drinking, happened? Drinking your own alcohol? <laughs> the like, way I on, heard you it? You made it, dude. Because one day he was there and the next day he got fired is that in, he, he would do it a lot and no people had suspicions but no one knew. But one time, I guess he got too uh, hammered off the moonshine or whatever he was drinking or smoking. And... It, morning time came It was like a regular day. It was like a Monday. People mm. walked in and it was just him and a hooker passed out on the floor. So they're like, okay, this is the limit. Yeah. And that's how he got Holy fired. Holy fuck. Damn. Yeah. Hell of a way to find out you have sleep apnea. <laughs> 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 Did you see that Montreal has a, uh, like, a crack alley? Yeah, I no. saw that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. yeah. All right, All right you had me at crack. I, I saw it, it on TikTok. It's, it's one block away from Club Soda. It's a uh, Rue uh, Boucher yeah, or uh, Duberger. Du 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 like, what, like so, a bike rack there? So I, I, like, it's known, apparently. I, I see a thing, and then there's a video, and you see like people rah, 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 and stabbing each other, yeah. and they're fucking mental. And then I, I, I Google map it, and it's from my dressing room, the dressing yep. room door. Yeah. It's, it's right there. 30 meters. Oh, yeah. that place? Oh, that's Crack Alley? It's, yeah. yeah, that's not that bad. I know it, that alley. It's, it's not it, that it's bad. It's like one, one little street over yeah. from, from my thing. But like this week, ever since I found out that place exists, yeah. uh, I, I, I get there this week and my, my girlfriend was going to eat with her friends like one block over. So we get dropped off. We're, we're in the alley and we're talking. And uh, like I, I see this homeless guy coming. And I always give money to homeless people, and I'm never nervous. Even if they're neo Nazis. Yeah, no, mostly yeah. if they're neo Nazis, yeah. really. But I give them more. Yeah. But, yeah. So I see this guy coming, and I'm like, okay, I shouldn't give to this guy because he's definitely fucked up. But I'm just gonna give, and then he's gonna leave. But he's like, uh, uh, and he's talking with a thick Haitian accent about this guy. Was he named black? William? <laughs> no, he was. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would have been amazing. He's a Scottish guy. <laughs> Says yeah, yeah. But he's just like a black guy with a Haitian accent talking about a guy named William mm. when they went to a place and they were trying to order food, and then he's talking to us, and I'm like, okay, yeah, all right, you got your money, and then my girlfriend is like, I, 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 I don't know who William is. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, of course understand. not. Why would you? And but I'm like, yeah, no, but I'd like I'm like, let let's go inside. Let's oh, go. she was saying yeah, that while he was saying, there. Like, oh. She's trying like, to understand what's happening. She's like, I don't I'd like <laughs> Poor no, her. but she's saying it like they're just fucking like she's treating him like when she talks to her kids. Uh, so she's like and he's not listening to me, but then she's like she kind of scolded him like a mom. <laughs> she's like, Look, you're not making sense. You're not making sense. So you should just leave. So then he leaves and then he's still walking. And then uh, talking about whatever. And then after the show, the BB has her friends there. And they're they're a little drunk. And we're in the alley. And then uh, the car pulls up. And then one of them is like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should go with you guys. Or maybe I'm going to take it. And then I see another fucking guy like just fucking like yeah. punched over and he's like i know I'm how like, to tell a story i'm like yeah, get clearly in the car. haitian get he's in coming the car. this way get in the car fucking just <laughs> argue in the car he's like, like i'm william like, i'm not sure if i'm gonna <laughs> oh. go yeah she was like i'm not sure if i'm gonna go with you guys and i was like just uh make up your mind in the car and i pushed her in the car <laughs> yeah good yeah. call oh yeah. you're panicking because yeah. the crack alley yeah, yeah. good call uh, yeah yeah but i mean that's that's the other thing too though it's like you don't need to be worried about people on crack you need to be worried about, about people, people who, who don't have crack. crack. Yeah, who want crack. the crack. Yeah. If you give someone crack, least threatening person you'll ever meet. You'll Are they sexual? To, crackhead sexual? Well, not if they're on it. They're literally just going to be like, yeah. So you can beat the shit out of them. Remember, like preach. <laughs> said a thing I'd never heard before a preach told me this. He's like, crackheads are like, he calls them chickens. Because yeah. they're always like, mm. they're, yeah. they're, it looks like, well, whenever they look, yeah, they look like again. actual chickens. Yeah. Like, they're all, their fucking <laughs> head is weird. And it was, yeah, it was perfect. But, because uh, I, I saw crackheads that I swim across in the gay village during the Star Wars thing fucking in the alley, like in the ass. But maybe they were just sexualized okay. homeless people. 
Because yep. oh. I saw a lot of banging. <laughs> Did the Star Wars the Star Wars thing? I saw an ad. It, did it move? It changed theaters. It's on park now. Yeah. So the initial shows were at the National for five weeks. Okay. Now it's starting Ottawa. Start okay. Ottawa, and then after it's back in Montreal June fifth at the Rialto. At the Rialto this okay. time. Okay. Yeah. Are those shows going to be more English since it's a more of an English? Show I don't know. I guess it's up to me. I, okay. I ask. In the, <laughs> I, it's a good you, thing to uh, decide. Yeah, no, but you'll see by the crowd. Yeah, I just ask mm. in the beginning, and normally, okay. uh, like the, it was like ninety nine percent French people, so I would just okay. do it in French. It's an if I do it, dude. And, and it's like, uh, and I see that no one speaks French, I'll do it in English. That's you know? a crazy thing to say to yourself, like what? that. What you're saying right now, like if if. This huge production. Being it, it's insane to, to be like, yeah, maybe I'll do it in French. Like that's cr- no one's saying that. You think nope. that's crazy? I wasn't even yes. doing. I wasn't even performing in French until he fucking tricked me. <laughs> yeah, that's also part of the reason it's crazy. Like it, it is insane to, to tell yourself maybe I'll do this in English, maybe I'll do this in French. So good for you, good for you. Like that is insane. Like I would never have the confidence. I. I would never have the confidence to perform in French. Like, really? Yeah. Why you speak French properly? I know, but I also I've I've never tried to really be funny in French, like with friends. Do you want to try it? Try it in English yeah, first. I don't know. Yeah, I'll try it in English first. Yeah, good call, yeah. good call. Fuck yeah, fuck you, fuck everything. Right. Let's go. Clip it, clip it, put it out. Fuck him. Clip it, Chris. Oh, I've never felt so close to you in my life. Yeah, I yeah. guess. I don't know, at the beginning, dope. I was pa- I would I wouldn't want to do it in French. I was panicking all the time. Now I got so used to it, and it was all because of him. Yeah, you that's know? amazing. That's insane. You, you like you two and preach like it's it, to watch you guys like just fucking pivot like that. I, I saw preach the other night do English set. Yeah, I saw you do the English set, and obviously it's fine. But well, out like, of the three of us, he's the one who's better at it. Obviously, but, yeah. But yeah. like, I'm 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 just like, yeah, I'm fucking. Blown away by your nonchalantness no, you of could swapping. You could do. I'm telling you, you could do it. Easily. Yeah, I don't know. You could pr- so easily. I yeah, and you could probably do it better because him. The good thing is, if you don't know, and you just see him in any language, French or English, right. you're just gonna assume. Okay, that's, that's the only language. language he speaks. Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. me, if you hear me in French, right away the accent, you're like, "Where's that yeah, fucking refugee you, from?" But you, it, it, even in English, there's like a there's a hint of like there's the park X, yeah. yeah, there's you're not from you're not English English, right? Mm. So like, but that's endearing to you. That works for you because there's like an ethnic background thing, Thank right? It's the whitest thing you've ever said. Yeah, nice. for for me, it doesn't. It, it there's like, oh, who the fuck's this chump <laughs> <laughs> trying to? Oh, you've been saying good things about me, by the way. I did uh, I did a radio interview in Quebec City. I mm-hmm. did my show. In Quebec City two weeks ago, I did your boy Pierre Method's thing. Okay, and he oh, was nice. and he was telling everyone he's like uh, he's like I listen to French cast. He goes, but stand up. I hadn't seen you in stand up, but Mike's been talking about you. He goes and uh, how good you are this and that. So everyone's like excited to see you. Oh, and I was great. like, oh fucking Mike, yeah. yeah. I mean, the fact that you also have a French podcast and you're talking to like French comics and everything, it probably helps. Yeah, your confidence in French, I would think. For right, sure. it like does your, your delivery yeah. stuff. Well, I, it, I don't have that. Like his I don't. French has gotten like uh, yeah, like really better, way better. If you yeah. watch the first episode of Suzuki that I did with mm. him, and now it's it's night and day. Yeah. Like yeah. I put a lot. Of, uh, by the way, if you want to see you something have an on your hour. iPhone, huh? You have an hour in yeah, French. Yeah, I'm doing my hour, yeah. and it's so much better now. Like, the that's hour. That's insane. To I started me. You two have years an ago. Hour in French. It's like, so much better now. Do the hour so much better because I'm comfortable and I switch things around. It works so much better. He's gonna win. Uh, we're doing uh tonight. The, the, you know the Montreux Comedy Festival? Montreux Comedy yep. Festival in Switzerland? Mm-hmm. They're doing a thing in Montreal called uh, En Route Vers Mon Premier Montreux. So it's uh, 10 Montreal comics uh, that are, one of them's going to go to uh, to Montreux. He's performing on that. Wow. But I'm not, but they're not counting. I'm the 11th. So I'm not part of the competition. But I'm I'm one of the judges. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. That would be right. so funny. Oh, do you want to see something that <laughs> I want to do for I want to do for uh, Suze Kut? Okay. Can you go to the podcast app on on iTunes? Okay. Right now, on Apple Podcast, and go go to uh, go to uh, the Suze Kut okay. page, just to see what I'm talking about. You always need someone with an iPhone to do it for me. Eh? Just to show you. Because <laughs> it's just for iPhone. Okay. So, so you want me to go what on, is it? on the show page? Yeah, you see how it looks? Yeah. Okay. And go to yours. Yeah, see, I tried to do that for our pod. What he's doing right here. Yeah. What is this? Where am I going? I submitted this months ago. I'm going ago. to Apple or I'm going to Spotify? Yeah. So Which? he, I think uh, Suzuku's already done it. Let me see. On Apple Podcasts? Suzuku's fine. This looks Where great. are we going? On podcasts? Yeah, go to podcasts. Go to yours and then go to the French cast. Look what we do with the French cast. It's beautiful. I want to do it for the rest of them. Let's type in French cast. No, I'm just, gonna, I'm just looking at other shit. I'm not even playing. <laughs> Le French cast? Right yeah. 
That's fucking badass, bro. Yeah, that's really that's cool. That's fucking badass. See, I submitted this shit forever ago, Chris Ferraris. And so so happened. what? what is yours? Yeah, all right, bottom of the barrel? No, it's so lame. I, do, I, did, I spent hours doing a whole graphic for this hero spot that he has there. Yeah. What the hell? Why didn't they put mine up? I know them. I, I speak to them directly. The, the yeah. head of uh, Apple Podcasts. I, I, s- I speak to them too, but they don't answer she, me. Look at this, be- bro. Come no, on. No. Look how beautiful that is. No. I, but, I, I'm gonna, <laughs> but Mike... Mike, they had already done it. I think uh, Jason had done it before. Yeah. So it's beautiful. Uh, I'm going to do one for two drink minimum also. Okay. Yeah. They're nice, eh? Like that? Really nice. Yeah. yeah. So yep. we're going to get all that shit done. You have yeah. this chick named Emily I was talking to? She was I know her. Out. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. She told me to submit this. I did it. Yeah. Well, Nothing we got we got a thing coming with ACAST I'll help the you pipeline out. I'll help right you now, out. right? I know her well. I'll with help our you big out. shout out in June. Yeah, we got a big shout out in June coming. Big shout out in June coming. Out to yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I got to do that yeah. for. Uh, I have to do it for Two Jig Minimum and for uh, Pentel's podcast yeah. also. Yeah, we got that. coming. we already recorded yeah. it? It's all submitted. Yeah. So you guys, uh, bottom of the barrel is with Acast too. Yeah, we okay. switched. We got. High five. We, we got okay. fucking. We got. We got. Tell us. This yeah, guy was like. So do it's, it, do it's, it. It is a worse platform, no question. <laughs> but you get paid more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. This is. I'm <laughs> trying to get everyone some money, yeah. dog. He's truthful. So, no, no, He's you, truthful. You're, you're giving us a hundred dollars a month that we weren't yeah. getting before. Because we were we were posting directly on Anchor. Balls. Yeah. yeah, we were. But they're always working on it. They're always they're, working on it. Because we were posting on Anchor and it would post video. Oh. Yeah. So we were one of the only ones to have video on Spotify. And because of that, we were getting extra views. But we weren't getting paid for those extra yeah. views. So now we're no video, but we're getting paid. So, so it's like, oh, they're okay. They're working on that. And I was the one that discovered. I was the one who told them. I go, you guys realize that if yeah. we go like this with the ads, there can't be video on Spotify. And then they're like, why? And I knew right away before yeah. they just spoke to I go, I can tell you exactly why. Because the way the video and the audio works is they would just overlap each other. So if yep. it just takes one. But since exactly. you're injecting ads. Yep. Yep. Fucks you. It fucks you because yep. then it loses track of where it should be. That's right. Exactly. Uh, so, But it's an easy fix. Yeah. They can fucking fix it. They should fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Anywho. We got some uh, we got some exciting podcast news coming down the pipeline, which we'll talk off uh, off camera. Really? Because, yeah. yeah. Too, I can't, it's too can't, spicy. It's too spicy. Oh, I want to ask you guys. We can do this uh, on cam. Uh, I did, um, I'm, I'm doing like, since I'm doing the French tour yep. with Modest, uh, I, uh, we're, we were talking about doing, remember how the, the Live Nation people had reached out and, uh, want to do dates throughout Canada. Yeah. And at first it were going to be English dates. And then, then I was like, oh, maybe I should do them in French. And then like, I was looking at Halifax, the population of Halifax, I think is 3.8% French. So I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do yeah. in, in Halifax in a 600 seat room yeah. when there's 300 French people? So then I was like, I think we should do uh, a tour, like, like a maritime half, thing? Half, uh, half stand up, half podcast. Two drink minimum takes over Canada. Go. Oh. It'd be like uh, it'd be like eight or ten cities, but the major ones like uh, Vancouver, Fredericton, Vancouver, uh, yeah, yeah. All uh, uh, no, well, like uh, Vancouver, <laughs> Fredericton. <Yeah>. What? <laughs> yeah. Moncton. Vancouver, Fredericton, <laughs> Long Bad Day. Yeah. 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 We're doing Laval for sure. Eel River Cross. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Timmins. Don't forget Timmins. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> no, no, but like, like the major, like a uh, fucking Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. Okay. Let's do but, it. And I think what we should do is, uh, like, Steve, my, my tour Just manager, show. is gonna he's going to follow us with the bus, but we're going to fly in. Cool. Like, like if, if we go to Vancouver, we'll fly out to Vancouver. He'll drive out. Yeah. And then. A week uh, earlier. We, yeah, and then cause, oh, no, because wow. he he he, he twenty one days earlier. No, he has a he has like a van like a, a van, van life, life thing. type. Okay. So he really likes he loves the van it. life thing. But then when he saw my new tour bus, he was like, "This is fucking insane." Yeah. So it's like, wait, it's you, here? You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, so for a while. Like, it's amazing. I was like, you you should fucking drive that shit if you want it. Like when we go out west, uh, you drive it, cool, and then you spend like a week and fucking jizzing everywhere, and well, fucking I don't whatever, care, yeah. like, and then just clean the seats, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he picks us up in Vancouver, so we drive from Vancouver to Edmonton, then yeah, or we Calgary. do like Victoria, like all this That's fucking, like cool and then, yep. then we fly back, yep. and then when we we go to the Maritimes, East Coast, we fly to Moncton, he but then picks we drive. us up, and then we drive, dude. To I'm back. fucking I'm down. down. You go to okay. Fredericton, obviously. <laughs> we don't go forget. to Fredericton. Fredericton. Yeah, Tour. It's not a real tour. Fredericton. <laughs> we should do seven nights. In if we, but for real, if we don't do Waterloo, be, Ontario, is it a tour? Freddy tour? Uh, Are we doing the Freddy tour this year? That'd be a good poster. And you could even like lie and do a just do right like, now, losing their minds. Do, do a, a Canadian tour that has 
38 dates, but 32 are in Fredericton. <laughs> yeah. 31 are sold out. Okay, no bullshit. Uh, other than Vancouver, where I'm from, the most seats I've ever sold is in Fredericton multiple times. Oh, really? They come out, man. I okay. sell out a 700 <laughs> seater. Okay. He's, he's all business. I've been trying Chris is really all business. I, yeah, he's not wrong. Freddie will come out, man. 700 seats in Fredericton. Really? Nothing. So even do we, for me, Mike. I don't even think I've ever been to Fredericton. Oh, you, I don't even know where it is. Dude, it, you're it's print, capital, you're, capital New Brunswick, actually. You're printing money over there, dude. What? But what happened to the old Brunswick? That's my question. We uh, never talk in, about that. It's in England. We, we don't just talk ignore about it. it. Yeah. But Ray would Ray it be the Ray live nation people that decide the dates or? No, it's like we we. Are we talking this year? Uh, twenty twenty five. Okay. Yeah. Let's plan it out and let's fucking okay. cross it off the calendar. I'm in. Uh, our, and and we'll do like a show show. Yeah. It won't be yeah, like yeah. podcast. Yeah. Like, like I'm down I'd, for that. I'd want to do like sort of a uh, a Hybrid. show with an intermission. Yep. And so so we have. Uh, stand up than a podcast. Great. Yeah, I think it's the better way to do it. Because if we do podcast then show, it's yeah. going to be too drunk and sloppy. I agree. Yeah. 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 No, I love it. Let's do it. That'd I'm be gonna fucking be crazy. Comics tonight going. Oh. Oh, fucking and the, yeah. <laughs> and the soon, the soon, as soon as we get dates too. Like I mean, Wes, you can probably line up some things too uh, okay. on the way because you're you're a fucking businessman. You're a philanthropist. I'll show you guys how to book seats and tickets. No yeah, problem. this guy's been crushing, dude. He's been literally he has touring to teach me. United yeah. States and Canada on uh, like Facebook marketing. Has been a lot of his uh, fucking. You have to teach me how to do this. And he's I'm, been I'm crushing selling, it. Selling tickets for selling their shows been. in cities he's never been. It's crazy, man. But I'm yeah, I'm a high profile guy. With good skills. He is yeah. both of those things. He is, yeah. But yeah, no, it's it's like it's what are you fun. doing? Like I literally what? Facebook okay. ads, yeah. but okay. they're super targeted, and I've spent tens of thousands of dollars and many hours uh, in my life trying to figure out how to do it properly. And is your like, do you have like video? That's yeah, I got like tons of video, but the but I sizzle I, reel. I, type. I run I run sort of different sizzle reels. I run sort of more targeted, like personal, like like what's up, Fredericton type ads, okay. right? And I run different. Uh, poster ones but there's different types of copy different ways to target it different pixels to follow oh. and like there's people that he's were, good at this there's shit. people that like i can target people that have ever clicked on any one of my facebook or, or instagram videos why i put out so much garbage on instagram uh they get millions of views is because it's just a net to trap these idiots right and then <laughs> and then i follow them back and they're getting and they're getting hit with these fucking ads it's true and they go like they go like i feel like i've seen this guy before they don't even know me they, they we did a show in burlington it was sold out yeah. like 250 seats 300 seats yeah oh and i'm gonna hire was, We've never been to Burlington. Was that the the Burlington Comedy Club? No, no, it was a theater. theater not little okay. baby he did a bitches. theater, dude. Bitches, yeah, no, he, all he's doing is theaters. Yeah, oh, nice. he's, he's, he's nice. you, you got you got that's rally coming insane. up. Yo, that's you did insane. Arlington. So you sold the, out a theater in Burlington. The best that's part amazing. is, well, yeah. Chris, Chris yeah. I didn't even know they have. Chris theaters. wasn't on it because Chris doesn't have a visa. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yo, there's like a nine year old girl in the front seat. Because sometimes this happens. <laughs> so we had a nine. Oh, you get all the hot chicks to come out. Listen, dude. Chris, like, well, don't I brought her up on her stage and stage. I pulled a Drake on her. Yeah, it was good. Nibbled her ear. It was amazing. But yeah. <laughs> no, no. Your no, it's <laughs> fine. But yeah, so like, like I was just telling Chris, like in January, I'm just like, I throw a dart at the map. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a 400 seater in uh, Grand Rapids, 400 seater in fucking Portage, Indiana. I just fucking pick places. They got theaters and I go, do, 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 and I know I can sell them. It's, it's crazy. fucking mad. And, and, and there's something really smart about That's it too because amazing. he doesn't go for like big cities. Big cities have big draws and oh, whatever, yeah. right? So you go for you go for the town that's like 40 minutes away. Yeah, 45 minutes yeah. away. That's your town. And now. And, and, and everybody's okay. like, I don't want to go to the city. Oh, a show came to me. Oh, so smart. And he sells four or five hundred seaters. No, not a problem. I'm like, name three cities in Minnesota. And the third one they name, I go, I'm gonna go there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's and it works. Amazing. And he's been touring. Yeah, it's that's so amazing. Sick. Yeah. You're like a you're like a Quebec comic. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> like, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> no, but you know how like uh, every like every Canadian comic, everyone does the major cities yeah. or but Quebec comics, they're like Pantels is doing towns he's never fucking heard of. Yeah. I'm going to Jonquière yeah. in June. Yeah, yeah Jonquière. I heard, he, like, I heard the girls are by there. <laughs> every every town, like but when we, the last tour, when he was opening for me, every city, he was like, <laughs> the fuck what's the industry here? Like, yeah. Why do people live here? And I was like, okay, I'll answer. Yeah, but construction guys. Keep, don't, don't ask those questions when you're on stage. Yeah, yeah. It's very, yeah. Uh, it's very offensive. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is well yeah. an industry? Yeah. But like, you can, you can sell out in Sheds Yak. You know, you go to Shed yeah. Zach there. Is that a real pro- place? Yeah, it's a place yeah. down in the Maritimes, Fisherman County. Like, yeah. you could probably like sell it. Northern the- New Brunswick in French. Yeah. Dude, you'd fucking murder. Oh, crush. Shed- uh, all, all, the, all the sort of, like, Z like, fucking where lobster is sold. 
You'd crush I'd be, that. I love that. Like, stay famous in French, obviously. Yeah. But God damn, man. You got so much English. I, got, I gotta try to compete you do, with man. you in the in the let's go. In the I in the you. in the B Dude, city. let's just go split bills yeah. some of these motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Honestly, oh, it'd be oh, so fun. Leave these two idiots at yeah. home. You and I go do an actual real show. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, dude, I'll yeah. come I'll come film it. Oh, yeah. So the thing I said <laughs> I don't even perform. I'll make money just filming it. It's fine. The thing I offered them so we have an eight city tour. <laughs> and uh <Hell> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. I love it. Well, look, uh, you can either go watch Wes Barker live in your city if you live in a depressing shithole, <laughs> or you could go <laughs> online online and catch wherever you are. You could be in Tokyo or New York City. You can catch our buddy here who's wearing his Kill Tony shirt. We didn't talk about it, but uh, Kill Tony's kicking some ass, too. Yep. They're doing uh, arenas now, Proud no? Those Stadiums? Boys. Yep, they're, kill- yeah. they're fucking MSG, crushing it. MSG, two yeah. nights in August. MSG, we're going, we're going, we'll be there in so August. So Hinge Clips yep. kick some ass, too. Check out Kill Tony as well. Uh, MikeWard.ca. Mike Ward is the owner of the number one French language comedy podcast on the planet, the world record holder for biggest live podcast ever. Yeah. And the owner and Stu, of uh, Ward Vodka. Ward Vodka. If you want to make dreams that you're going to forget the this next day, good, Ward dude. Vodka is hiding. for you. If you're in Quebec, it is available right now at any SAQ or saq.ca. Right and if you order online the first uh, 100, uh, the, there are a bunch of bottles that are signed. He I, autographed I these bottles for you. The first hundred uh, bottles. You just made but, that up. Uh, they, I signed one bottle for f- per case, so it's going to be random. random. Yeah. But you, there cool. are people out there who are going to share pictures on Instagram yeah. of an autographed bottle of Ward Vodka, premium Quebec vodka by none other than Mike Ward. Uh, PantelsComedy.com for all of my stuff. The Intellectuals, the Pantels Podcast, the French Cast. It goes on and on. And our boy here doing the ones and twos while Poseidon is in the Italy. Josh working. Shapiro. Josh yeah, Shapiro. There. Josh Shapiro <laughs> from the Third Floor Comedy Club. Uh, Josh Shapiro, every Friday night, secret show. Uh, I show up to that a lot. It's at 11 p.m. He's got shows running almost every day of the week. The Roast Battle, the official Roast Battle League, happens at the Third Floor Comedy Club. And it's run by none other than Josh Shapiro. Woo! Joshy, there we go. Thank you guys and go fuck yourselves. Yep.